Hi everyone, this is Ruth. This is my 2010 A-Liner Sport by Columbia Northwest and I'm getting ready to take her out to a hip camp. Bike check. Bikes look good. Okay, I'm on the road. Heading to Brownsville, Oregon. Going to a hip camp up on the hillside where I am promise to get a beautiful sunset view and I'm really looking forward to trying it. There's an old cemetery up there I'm going to explore and just kind of hang out. It's supposed to rain so I brought my rain gear and I'm just tootling along. I'm not in any hurry. The A-liner is towing, towing behind me just as sweet as can be. I have good visibility. As long as no one's right up on my tailgate I can see who's traveling behind me so I love the visibility. It's not easy to, I mean, it's not hard to tow. I hardly even tell it's back there. It's easy to tootle along at 60 miles an hour. I could go faster, but they say if you're towing a trailer, you shouldn't go faster than 60, so I won't. Anyway, this is super exciting. I'm thrilled to be getting out of the house for the night. I'm just going for one night. Just, if I make it too complicated, then I don't do it. So if I keep it simple, it's easy to follow through. And I wanted to get my A-liner out of the garage for a little while. <laughs> the weather looks a little, it's pretty cloudy. There's a little sprinkle, sprinkles going on, but as long as it's not blowing sideways, I shouldn't have any trouble getting the A-liner sides up before the rain blows in and gets my blankets wet. Hopefully that won't happen. So, off we go. See you up there. This is super cool. So this is downtown Brownsville. Oh my goodness. How do you decide what to get? Everything looks so good. Well, this is really nice. Check this out. Sides are going up. This is a really nice spot. On the hillside. Beautiful views. They've got power, water, sewer. There's an area for fire if you wanted to have a fire. I guess if you come up here in the summertime, that'd be nice. It's a little muddy right now, but it's beautiful. Yeah, this would be a beautiful spot in the summertime or early spring. City of Brownsville down there. Just stunning. I'm really happy with it. What a nice little getaway. It's December 27th. It's probably 50 degrees out here. I'm not gonna complain. There's the cemetery up there on the hillside. owner's shop and home nearby. But I haven't seen a peep out of them since I got here. Absolutely beautiful. Just loving it. Well, I beat the rain. I'm all tucked into my A-liner. I've got a beautiful view out there. I can hear a little bit of rain sprinkling. You can see it on the window. And I'm about ready to have my bowl of soup curl up in my sweatpants, and start a good book. So here's my setup.
Oh, this is exactly what I was hoping for. So nice. Happy camping. Brownsville Pioneer Cemetery, 1851. Wow, this is an old one. Looks like this little trail is going to take me on a loop. And I better put my rain, ca rain cap on. <laughs> the darn rain's going to get me. That's all right. I'm from Oregon. I don't mind the rain. As much as I love it out here in nature, it's beautiful, it's green, it's wet. <laughs> it's not really freezing, but it's, actually it's not even really all that cold for Oregon. It's not freezing. I still prefer summer camping. And this is why we love Oregon. It's pouring down rain, but do you see that little patch of blue sky up there? I do. <laughs> Well, if you wait long enough in Oregon, you'll eventually get sunshine. The rain blew through, and now it's beautiful out here. Out for its evening stroll. Like it's gonna be a peaceful night up here. <sighs> Still enjoying my A-liner. It's dark outside now, and I can see a few lights from the city down below. I enjoyed a walk through the cemetery, that was fun. And now I'm just chilling out and enjoying a long, dark winter evening. <laughs> Well, it's 7.30 p.m. and I had to load her up, getting ready to go home. The wind started picking up, the moon is high, and I just couldn't stand the gusty wind. I was too afraid my A-liner sides were going to cave in and I'm sitting sideways. I could have probably moved her back against the hillside a little bit more out of the wind, but I just didn't want to take a chance on it, and then I wouldn't be able to plug in either. So my trip was cut short, but it was actually really pretty. It always sucks when things don't go according to plan. Had I realized being parked on the hillside like that was going to be a wind tunnel, I really would have rethought how to park it. So I should have been, I should have been nose to the wind instead of side to the wind. Long story short, it's not worth taking the chance on having my sides blow in. I don't want to ruin my trailer and I don't want to get hurt. So anyway, I'm home. It was a good trip. I'm glad I went. I was just reminded on what I need to do to take her out overnight. And she needs to get some fresh air and a little rain and sunshine. So anyway, it was fun. Thanks for joining me and everyone out there. Happy camping and be safe. <laughs>